When you run CDAS, you're presented with this application window, uh, the GUI interface or graphical user interface of the CDAS program. Um, I encourage you to make use of its uh, of the full screen uh, mode of this application because the GUI benefits from as much screen real estate as you can spare. Um, the screen's divided into regions. Very simply, uh, toolbar across the top here. Note these are iconic buttons that are enabled or disabled based on the context of what you're working on. So under some circumstances, some of these buttons are available and uh, under others, they're unav unavailable. On the left-hand region of the screen, on the left-hand region uh, sidebar here, is actually uh, one of four managers. These are selected with these tabs at the very bottom. So there is a file manager. There is a layer manager. There is a mask manager with its own tool button uh, bar, excuse me, toolbar of buttons vertically here. Again, those will enable and disable based on the context of what's selected or being used over here. And finally, a color manager, the uh, last of the four managers. These are all empty currently because I've not got any data open. But be aware that the, there are four managers on the left here. You may have noticed, for example, this mask manager, there's something being obscured there. And so I can grab this and stretch it out and see more of its information. I can grab over here and stretch this out. And if I do, I get a, a um, pretty messy screen. And so uh, the first thing I want you to be aware of is in the menus for the application, that the view menu offers a reset to default layout. So when I click that, I always get back to a known configuration of the windows and the tabs. It, it turns out that these managers can be detached and brought up to their own window, but they can get, uh, you know, where did the other one go and so on. So uh, I invite you to uh, frequently use this result re reset to default layout menu item to bring all things back to um, their sort of home configuration. All right, so carrying on, this blue area in the middle is uh, where the data will be displayed when you open bands of data from data files. Um, and multiple bands can be displayed in separately tabbed windows. So we'll see an example of that, but there will be tabs across the top, one for each uh, window of data. Um, and it is, in fact, possible to side-by-side -side view and so on, but that we'll get to that later. On the right-hand side are informational panels. There's a world map here. When you have data displayed here, it's going to highlight in a little red box the area of the globe that you're actually looking at. There is information, the numerical information representing the lat lawn and pixel values and indexes into the raster of image data displayed in these panels on the right. There are uh, additional navigation controls to zoom in and out and uh, fit the data to the screen and so on. There are uh, many options there for navigation. We'll see some um, others as well. You may have just noticed a little blink there. If I hold the cursor over uh, one of the elements of this graphical user interface, you will see a tooltip, a little block of text appear. Now, I've got my cursor enormous here for the sake of video uh, presentation clarity, but with a normal size cursor, you'd be able to read all of that text, and that's helpful text to understand what is what is this button's function? Uh, you, you just hover over and the tooltip eventually appears, okay? And so that's used throughout the user interface for a lot of different functions. 
um, things that can do things, these buttons and so on. They all have a tool tip, so make use of those as well. Uh, just reviewing, you've got a toolbar of functions that are enabled and disabled based on the context of what you are working on. A uh, group of managers here on the left, the file manager, layer manager, mask manager, and color manager. They may or may not have their own toolbar that applies only to the uh, information in displayed in that manager and uh, the display area and the information area. That's really all there is to the CDAS GUI. We will look at each of these um, elements in more detail in future videos.